Ye be warned, viewer. Ye be warned. Uh, I'm gonna gush. I'm gonna gush. Uh, man, oh man. I love today's sneakers. Like, like, like oh. uh, and I'm gonna gush about them. And I'm gonna just absolutely uh, flood the channel with my passion for how much I love these sneakers and how cool I think they are. Um, if you don't want to see a 43 year old guy gushing all over the place about how much he loves something, then today's video is not for you. But if you do want to know more about the Adidas ZX 4004 d I want, I can, then stick around because that's what we're gonna be looking at today. This is a Tokyo Bara 23 sneaker channel. Tokyo Bara 23 sneaker channel days. Mainichi absuru no de mainichi mite kudasai. Toroku. That's a good one. Uh, and I do, I do uh, bring you content every single day about upcoming sneaker releases, sneaker news, and sneaker reviews. Uh, and today we're looking at an upcoming sneaker release. Uh, and I didn't know Adidas were building to this. Um, and it's one of those things that in retrospect, when you look back on something, you realize that they were building towards something. You could see that they were they, there was a trajectory, but without knowing what the end point was, you can't really understand the trajectory that it's on. But then when you see that's where they were going all along, then it kind of makes you understand the different steps that they took on the journey to get there. Um, and, uh, and by golly, are these a good looking sneaker. Uh, oh man, alive, they're absolutely fire. Uh, I, oh God, man. I love them. I love them, love them, love them, love them, love them, love them, love them. Uh, and they're 4D, which means the, the ZX4000 4Ds are X expensive and I'm not a rich man and there's no way I'll be able to afford these um, and I know I'll regret not finding a way to buy them uh, because I love them I really really do I think they're absolutely stonking um, there's nothing there's not a stitch on them that I don't like and I am a critical sneaker reviewer I am really critical uh, that you know the, a tiny detail will catch my eye and I'll be like no rubbish that's crap get rid of it um, but these guys looking at these all over I uh, uh, they're just absolutely beautiful fire crazy good looking sneaker um of course though uh, before anything else please hit that subscribe button down below uh, the channel's gradually getting bigger pushing us on towards the tokyo olympics in 2020 uh, and i surely do appreciate you uh subscribing to the channel if you already have and subscribing to the channel if you're going to do that right now so please do click that subscribe button down below and as i am here in tokyo japan i do say in japanese at the start of all of my videos toroku yoroshiku uh, okay, now let's have a look at these ZX 4004Ds. Now, I've reviewed a lot of them. Uh, I'm going to go with four. Uh, and given that they are a premium sneaker uh, and they're not a regular silhouette that drops often, uh, I think we can go ahead and say that the reviewing four of them is actually quite a lot. Um, and there have been other variants now that I think about it. There was something that I reviewed that had like a sort of panel that came down from the lacing system in the midfoot that I didn't like, which was very um, similar to the, the ZX4000 4D line. Uh, but anyway, uh, I've reviewed a lot of these sneakers and uh, I can confidently say that these are right up the top uh, for me. If I could get my hands on a pair of these, I would surely do it if I could justify the price tag. Uh, but looking at the, the construction of the sneaker and all the different elements of it, you've got that prime net upper with uh, some suede uh, hits on there, uh, especially at the bottom of the lacing system, the ZX4000 piece of branding in there. Uh, I really like uh, a little bit of support that you get around the top line and the ankle. It's sort of a long strip of suede that feeds into a narrow strip and goes up over the top line and into the in side. Um, one of the things I really like about these guys is the the tongue um, where you've got the, the the Adidas branding on there with that is it trefoil I think that's how you pronounce it in light blue which is a nice sort of pop of color in there uh, but my my number one uh, I, I can't use any other word other than love uh, the, the point about these stickers that I love the most uh, is the contrast between the lateral side and the medial side the medial side looks good. I'm not saying it doesn't look good, uh, but it's a very um, simple design. 
three stripe branding, uh, simple block coloring, uh, the odd bit of, you know, um, ZX4000 branding sort of in that digital uh, font near the heel. Um, it's blacks, it's greys, it's, it's, you know, uh, some light greys, some dark greys, a very simple looking design, but it looks really, really good. If that was the colorway all by itself, it would be enough. And I'd be like, that's a really nice, fine looking sneaker. Uh, but then when we get to the lateral side, all bets are off um, twice. All bets are off twice. Uh, these are called the I want, I can. Uh, and to, hmm, represent that piece of branding on the right side, the right lateral side of the right shoe in bright orange, you've got I want sort of plastered through the upper on there. Now, I'm not usually a fan of oversized or over imposing branding, but I really, really like how this looks. I really like how it looks the, the, with the I want on there in bright pop and orange. Uh, but then when we look at the lateral side of the left shoe, uh, which complements it with the, the I can, I want on the right, I can on the left, uh, but in blue on the uh, the left lateral side. And I just, uh, ah, I just think they look really, really good, you know, and they could have, they could have gone way wrong. Sometimes a big branding on a sneaker doesn't work and it just looks too much and it's sort of overbearing, but it totally works on these. I think they're a really, really nice looking sneaker and, and built on top of that, that 3D midsole um, and the, the coloring of, ah, they just look really, really good. And I know I'm not going to be able to get my hands on a pair. I need, I need a massive, uh, miraculous intervention of some kind um, and I don't think it's going to happen but they just look good and they are a fine fine looking sneaker in my opinion uh, I don't know if this is the end for the ZX4000 4D line uh, like I said about the trajectory I don't know if this is the end game for them if it is it's a fine end game it's a great place to stop but maybe they've got things planned for the future my guess if it is if they have got things planned for the future you'll see a dip um, and and they sh it's one of those things like where they should have stopped, but they won't because uh, these guys are fine. I think they're a great looking sneaker and I like them very, very much. But don't think I'll be able to get my hands on a pair, but I can love them from afar. Uh, okay, that's enough from me today. Uh, as you know, I drop your content every single day, so you can check that out. And you see me all the time yakking on about sneakers, and today was no different. Uh, if you uh, are into your sneakers and want to catch more, you'll see me uh, again every single day. And I can confidently say at the end of every single one of my videos that you're guaranteed to see me tomorrow.